two isolated solid sphere of radius r and 2r are charged such that both have same charge density sigma the spheres are then connected by a thin conducting wire if the new charge density of the bigger sphere is sigma dash the ratio sigma dash by sigma is c let's assume this uh, two spheres are not in contact right then the charge on this sphere one is q1 is equals to sigma into area so sigma into 4 pi r square Similarly, charge on the sphere of radius 2r is sigma into area. Here the area is 4 pi into 2r square because the radius is 2r. So it is 4 into 4 pi r square. So if you compare with this, then the charge on the sphere 2 is 4 times of the initial charge. Okay. So right now they are not connected. Okay. So if the charge on the first sphere is q1, then the charge on the second sphere is 4q1. Now we connect. So when we connect this two sphere, the charge will start flowing from the sphere of higher potential to the lower potential. And it will stop flowing when the potential of both the sphere equalize. So in that case, the new potential V1 dash of first is equals to the potential of the second sphere. Now equation for the electric potential is KQ by R. Now here the charge is changed, right? Because the charge is transferred from one sphere to another sphere. So here Q1 dash, right? So K q1 dash by r1 similarly k q2 dash by 2r because the radius of the another sphere is 2r so the potential are equal now k and k r and r will get cancelled so 2 q1 dash is equals to q2 dash due to charge conservation the total charge of the system remains conserved so initially q1 plus q2 is equals to final charge q1 dash plus q2 dash now q1 now q2 is 4 q1 so it is 4 q1 is equals to and q1 dash here if you make here q1 dash as a subject then it is q2 dash by 2 so it is here it is q2 dash by 2 plus q2 as it is if you solve this q1 plus 4 q1 is 5 q1 and if you solve this you will get 3 by 2 q2 now what is q1 for uh, sigma 4 pi r square right so here it is sigma 4 pi r square similarly 3 by 2 what is here uh, uh, q2 dash so q2 dash is uh, sigma dash because the charge density of the bigger sphere is given sigma dash in the quotient is given the new charge density of the bigger sphere is sigma dash so for bigger sphere we are keeping as it is right so q2 dash now q2 dash is equals to sigma dash into area so sigma dash as it is 3 by 2 as it is and the area of the bigger sphere is 4 pi and the radius is r so it is 2 r square radius is 2 r so it is 3 by 2 sigma dash 4 pi 2 r square now if you solve this right then you will get here uh, three, this 3 will go here so it is and 2 will also go here so it is uh, 5 2 is 10 by 3 this 4 pi this 4 pi will get cancelled here sigma dash sigma dash as it is this sigma I am bringing towards right side so it is sigma dash by sigma and here 2 into 2 means 2 square is 4 okay so now we are remaining with 10 by 3 equals to sigma dash by sigma into 4 we want sigma dash by sigma so sigma dash by sigma 4 i am transferring this side so it is 10 by 12 so sigma dash by sigma is 5 by 6